The MB Network with D Sparta. Hey, it's me, D, and welcome to the MB Network. Today, it's Brittany, bitch. No. Actually, we're going to be going into doing a reading on Jamie Spears, who is Brittany's father and the man who is in charge of her conservatorship. And there is court case going on right now where Brittany is asking for her father to be removed. Now, if you are a regular uh, member of this true crime tarot family, you already know the drill. You can stay and listen to learn more about who Jamie Spears actually is. A little bit of dirt on his past. <laughs> or you could just skip on ahead with the chapters down below and get into the tarot reading directly and see what the cards have to say. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to get. I am purposely focusing on Jamie Spears for the reason that I have a lot of respect for Britney. I have been a longtime fan of Britney Spears. For a while, I kind of felt like it was my dirty little secret years ago. And I would, had a friend over and I said, oh yeah, you could go on my computer and play this video clip. And as he did, he found this folder that I had secretly made with all of Britney's hit songs all of Britney's videos, I had it all downloaded, and he was like, uh, D, I, I didn't know. <laughs> like, yeah, and I'm an adult woman, and yeah, I, I like Britney Spears, okay? <laughs> I also, which is kind of odd, because if you know my music taste, I'm really into metal and darker <laughs> music, yet I really like Britney, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so, but I don't want to exploit her. I don't want to do a card reading on her. I don't want to feel like I'm violating her and her privacy. What I do want to do is I have no problem violating Jamie's. He seems like a jerk. Brittany has finally come forward in a court hearing where she voiced her, her issues with what's going on and she is alleging abuse from her father and those in charge of her conservatorship. So we're going to focus on that jerk. <laughs> and if you want, we're going to get into more details right now or just skip on ahead. Please remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts on this whole case, what you think is going on which you think you saw on the cards, perhaps, and which you want me to do next. All right, so here we go. Welcome back. Now, let's talk about a Mr. James Parnell Spears, or more likely known as Jamie Spears, who is Brittany Jean Spears' father. Neil, they, Jamie has three children. There's Brian Spears, who is the oldest, and he was born in 1979 on April 19th. And then there was Jamie, then there's Brittany Jean Spears, who was born December 2nd, 1981. And then a little later is, was Jamie Lynn Spears, which if you notice, the mother of all these children is Lynn Spears. So Jamie Lynn Spears is kind of a, a combination of both parents' names. I guess that's kind of cute. <laughs> um... Let's learn. Let's focus on this Jamie Spears because right now he is the um, problem that Britney Spears is claiming in her conservatorship. Now, Jamie Spears was born July 6th, 1952. He was in, in Kentwood, Louisiana, and his parents are June Austin Spears and Emma Jean Spears. Now, his mother which is, this is tragic. I, I hope this doesn't trigger anyone. What I'm about to discuss here, what, what happened to his mother. Uh, so just, I want to put this warning out there. This is dark. She lost a child when Jamie was 13 years old and she committed suicide over this infant's grave. 
that did have an impact on Jamie's life, as you could imagine. Um, now, Jamie also has survived a car accident that killed a friend of his who was a teammate of football in football at the age of 17. Now, then at 22, Jamie was arrested on drug and driving while intoxicated charges. So he has, there's been some tragedy in his own life that that's dark. And he has been, you know, he has a DUI. He was drunk or drug driving. And that you're going to see there is, it's going to come up again. His problem with alcoholism. Um, you see, he was married twice. Now, his first wife was Debbie Sanders Cross. They were married in 1973, but were divorced in 1975 with no kids. Now, apparently, Debbie and um, Jamie are still friends. But they're not married. The marriage didn't work. And I don't really know much why there was the divorce. But when it comes to Lynn Spears, his second wife, we got some more information that is quite telling about the man Jamie Spears really is. In 1976, Jamie married Lynn Spears, and they had those three children. And I mentioned Brian, Brittany, and Jamie, or Jamie Lynn, I should say. Now, in 1980, a year before Brittany Spears was born, Lynn had filed for divorce. And she requested with this divorce a temporary restraining order, alleging that she was afraid that he, Jamie was going to become angry when the papers were served and that she would be harassed, harmed, especially if and when Jamie was drinking alcoholic beverages because he had done so in the past when he was angry with her, became physical and emotionally you know, violent towards her. So she was afraid. However, as you know, a year later, she has Brittany with Jamie because they did reconcile. And this lasted until May of 2002 when they did divorce. However, once again, they reconciled, but they didn't get married. And so this was around 2010 that they were back together, but not married. Now, in 2014, they were still seen together, but that didn't last too much longer because by 2020, they were once again separated. Now, as you notice, alcohol, drugs, is they popped up here. And Jamie has struggled with addiction. So he did go and seek help in rehab, actually in 2004. So there's there's a, there's a little bit about Jamie here and the man and his, about his life and his marriages and the alleged a uh, domestic abuse that's happened. And you kind of wonder about what happened to these poor kids. Well, the conservatorship that we now have that Britney Spears has, um, her father it was placed by her father. In 2008, so this is four years after he went through rehab, and this all took place because Brittany was being publicly scrutinized viciously by paparazzi and the media just harassing her while she was struggling with her own mental health, and she did have a breakdown. Now, the cons this was, I can only imagine the trauma and the violation she was feeling as she's going through some really hard times in her life. Now, and having a mental illness, which I'm 
believe she mentioned that she was bipolar, but that is, I'm not sure, you know, what the uh, actual diagnosis is, but yes. <laughs> now, the conservatorship <laughs> was to be only temporary, but later in 2008, this was made permanent. Now, Jamie basically took full control of Britney Spears' life. What she can wear, what she can eat, what money she can have, if she can drive or not, if she can even leave the house, if she can call someone or talk to anyone, if she could be online. He, this, this, this doesn't sound like a normal conservatorship, and but this man controlled her entire life, controlled what she worked, when she worked, if she worked, and it's, yeah, that's what this, this conservatorship has been. Now, in August of 20, 25th of 2019, now Britney Spears had two sons with her um, second husband, Kevin Federline. Now, Sean and Jaden, her sons, were granted a temporary restraining order against their grandfather, Jamie Spears, after allegations of physical abuse. Sean reported that he got into a verbal argument with his grandfather, Jamie, at his grandfather's home, and he then locked himself in a room. Well, Jamie apparently wasn't going to have any of that. If you're dealing with someone who is um, extremely volatile, <laughs> which Sean learned, his father, uh, his grandfather broke down the door to the room and violently shook and assaulted Sean. This did not go over well with Brittany or Kevin, who um, have a divorce and they had a custody agreement. Kevin Federline and his and his attorney Mark Vincent Kaplan, they filed a police report, and also claimed that Britney Spears herself was the one to recognize the abuse and removed her children from their grandfather. Now, after the incident, Spears and Kevin, Kevin, Britney and Kevin, remodified the custody agreement, giving Kevin seventy percent of custodial rights. And giving Britney only 30%. Now, though this new agreement was put in place the previous year, it was made official in response to this alleged battery in which Jamie did violently shake Sean. Now, Jamie, he remained under investigation for this child abuse during all the changes with the custody. But no criminal charges were filed. That just seems... Mm, that, that really irks me. It really does. And I, I don't know why. That's a, that's, a, that's a question I have. What, what happened? Now, on September 6th of 2019, Jamie Spears temporarily stepped down as conservator of the person. He remained conservator of Jamie's estate, the money. And he cited it was for his personal health reasons. Now, Jamie remained the sole conservator, as I said, of her estate. And the court did approve Jamie's request that a Jody Montgomery would be Spears' care manager. And she became the temporary conservator of, the per of her person in Jamie's place. Which, ah... And now, all this was happening because there was a co-conservator who did step down because, and they did cite that there were problems going on with this conservatorship and they needed to distance themselves. What, when an attorney says this, you got to wonder, like, what? Why is the conservatorship step going? Apparently, Brittany never was told, even by her attorney, but her attorney was appointed by Jamie, her conservatorship, that she could request the conservatorship just to end. She was never given her rights. And 
So, Brittany recently just came out with a public statement while she was in court that was made public. And Jamie, she's requesting him to resign. And if he doesn't, Brittany, her brand new attorney, yes, she was able to get a new attorney. So this is a turn in the case where the judge says, yes, you can pick your own attorney. You no longer have to use the attorney that the ones you're trying to stop anymore. So she now has a new attorney and they're asking him to be removed if he doesn't resign. Now, Brittany's powerful testimony about the abuse that she has endured under Jamie Spears, it has rocked the world. It, the, the cruelty is just mind-blowing. And hashtag free Brittany is still trending. And Jamie still states that Brittany is unfit and he needs to remain in charge. So let's do a tarot reading and find out a little bit about Jamie and maybe get an idea if he's going to resign or not and what's going to happen. I mean, we can't really predict the, the entire future, okay? Because things can change. From what we see now, maybe he gets some sense not to... I don't know. We're going we're gonna to dive into these cards and we're going to see... See if we can find anything. I don't know what we would find, but I am curious because I care. I care about people and their mental health and their well-being and if they're being abused and controlled. And it sounded like Jim, Jamie is very cruel, vindictive, and he takes pleasure in being so cruel and controlling of his daughter. And that hurts if what Brittany's testimony says is, is true, which I tend to believe. I just, I hope she gets free soon. I really do. Let's see what's going to happen, okay? Now remember that this is all alleged and for entertainment purposes only. I am not trying to focus on Britney Spears. I don't want to get into her too much. I want to focus on Jamie Spears, the problem. So without further ado, let's get into that reading. And welcome back. We are going straight now into the actual re tarot reading, psychic reading about J Jamie Spears and the case uh, asking him to remove, be being removed as conservator of his daughter Brittany Jean Spears and this is I don't know what to expect you know <laughs> and just as a reminder that this is a legend for entertainment purposes only I really care about Brittany that's why I'm not I keep saying this I am not going into her personal life her privacy has been violated so badly and she needs to be able to feel secure and um, have some things personal. And the man who has exploited her, that's who we're going to do the reading on. <laughs> uh, Jamie Spears, also known as James Parnell Spears. Let's see what cards we get here. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Three cards just pop, pop, pop all out. Okay. Hmm. Okay. This is the Okay, this is the Knight of Pentacles. And the you know, the knight they're young and usually considered kind of like a new thing at the beginning. And when we're dealing pentacles, this is, you know, a lot of times dealing with money or career. And this is like hard work, productivity. But we have it next to here, as you can see, this is the moon and it's upside down. So 
there's secrets to be revealed. And this is, well, <laughs> the sun. And the sun is also reversed. The sun, you would think, oh, yay, fresh new start, good things, things are happiness. But this is about someone who's got this, he's, this is an inflated ego. Like someone who, you know, they, it's like Jamie really thinks, hey, I am the shit. And nothing is, you guys can't stop me. I've been going at this conservatorship for 13 years now. This is mine. That's my daughter. And he feels like he's above everything. I, this, I, uh, but there's, um, going, there's a, it, there's a revealing of secrets. And uh, I think it's Brittany saying, I've worked my ass off because of him. And I'm going to tell you everything he's done and how hurtful it is. And there is the fool upside down. Hmm. Which is right here under the hard work. And, oh, and then the nine of cups reversed under the moon. And, you know, this person, <laughs> once again, thinks he was the shit. And is, is cruel and his secrets are about to come out. So, yeah. <laughs> let's find out what these secrets are. The man is the devil. <laughs> God. He, yes, drugs and alcohol. He has addictions. He is a manipulator. He is controlling. Um, it's over the, the reversal of the sun with his ego. I, he is actually the abuser an addicted one to drugs and alcohol, which he's trying to say that Brittany, yet he's been using drugs to control Brittany's life. Her medication, he decides what she can take or what she shouldn't. And he is lording over her. He, he thinks it, it's fine. It's, it's what he needs to do. Um, the Queen of Wands here. Death over the secret. Oh. I wonder if that's a literal death. And then the Page of Swords over the devil. This, this is, this is, huh. You see, the Queen of Wands you know, is, it, it's, it's a fiery person, <laughs> and but they're, they're introverted, they want to, and this is showing that she, hey, I'm not so naive, I, and I'm going to take control of my life. I need to reestablish myself. I, I've been robbed of myself and my being. <clears throat> you can't take it. And then here's death. And it's revealing of secrets. The death of the end of the conservatorship is going to come. She is going to, she is determined to fight to the end to see this happen. Um... And now we have a page of swords. I'm seeing um, he's going to be just... This is interesting because it's over the devil and... he He's trying to think of what his next step is. What am I going to do now? Because I have got all these secrets and I don't want to lose control. Brittany is slipping from my control. I need to find out uh, what to do now to stop her and to remain this conservator. It's... I apologize. My daughter didn't know I was recording. Um, so these two cards fell so far and 
this is the king of swords i think we have there's a gentleman someone's going to help fight for britney and bring out the truth um they're very smart very smart and it's not gonna he's not gonna play any games it's get straight to it mm, no more and the three of cups reversed this always gets me because I always think of a contract business, you know, working, but this is, um, you see the sinking and it's reversed. This person is, this is, you know, it's right under the devil. I mean, under death and this greed and the secrets. A lot of unhappiness, uh, uh, things falling apart, it's not coming together. Trying to keep things suppressed. Yeah. And the King of Wands reversed, and this is definitely who Jamie is. Um, they're corrupt. This is a corrupt mean he's bad temper this is the dictator card this is someone who's like a dictator and i see that that's what he has he views himself pretty much as you know dictating over Brittany, and i think he's starting to come to a point where he's afraid and someone who is going to match him is going to be able to step up and help um, I'm going to try this other deck here. This is the Gilded Tarot. Now, the other deck that I was using was, um, the Haunted House, in case you were wondering. So, let's see here. Mm, okay. Oh, oh, man. The burden of something. Okay. And death... And judgment. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is, this is, yeah. Death keeps coming up. With judgment here, and so the Ten of Wands, you know, it's usually, you know, this, this person's all bound up. And She's doing it all. So I see Jamie as wanting to take back even the person being in charge of her person and estate. He wants to carry it all. But we have death here that's going to stop with judgment and judgment. And it's upright. That I'm seeing is good for Brittany. Um... Because this is like, it, there's going to be change. She's going to be free. Hashtag free Britney. She, this. He's going to be just overwhelmed with the stress of trying to fight and keep control. It's. Yeah, here, the Eight of Pentacles. This card came back up twice now. Now, it had fallen with these other cards, and I was like, well, I don't think I need it, but if it's going to come up again, then I'm going to know that it's neat. it was a card. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it's like usually an intern working hard, someone, you know, with money to gain. And I, when I put it over this one, he... Ah. Is he trying to get someone to step in his place? The Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Um, 
Whoa. Over death is the Knight of Cups. And... And then here's the two of wands. Uh, I can't help but wonder. Freedom release. An apprentice. This is about a person who was kind of. Well, this, this is the reverse of it. But it's reversed, so it's more of like, instead of progressing and learning new, it's stay, holding back. No, this was, no, this is an apprentice whom, seeing somebody here that, was getting money from her, who was an apprentice, there was a romantic, this was a romantic connection and a falling out. <laughs> yeah, this is the order. I'm, I'm seeing somebody that she was connected to. There was a, a, a relationship and he was kind of an apprentice. So I'm wondering, I'm thinking, Kevin, wasn't he a dancer? And then Brittany met him because he was one of her dancers and they fell in love. I think he's going to, he has information to give that is going to pretty much help Brittany, but tear down. Jamie. Um... Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Let's see. And the Tower. I, I was telling you. Tear it down. Breaking. He's He, he is probably going to illuminate a lot of secrets. Um, because the grand... His children, his sons. And the relationship. And... Yeah... Um, he has been holding, this is him holding on to secrets that he, he has been holding on to, but he's going to bust them out and it's going to shake the world. There is still more to learn about Jamie that we don't fully understand. And it's like, yeah, Kevin, I'm just making sure my camera up here is okay for the cards. Yeah. This, this, um... I really think it's Kevin. It could be someone else who had a connection with her in a relationship. But I think it's Kevin. I have a strong feeling we're dealing with Kevin here. Um, uh, loyal little doggy. My neighbor's hammering next door. Ooh, Frost? Frost to bear. And the child. Oh my goodness. These cards usually don't come up much. And to see them in this order, kind of wondering who I'm actually channeling right now. And because So, loyalty, suffering, and we got the child here. This is the grand, this is Brittany's children. 
they have suffered under Jamie, which makes sense. Okay, that under there, that's that has to do with social media. I have the son, any of her children come forward publicly if I remember they have come forward on social media but it's going to be even more so um with the ship let's see where they're going oh so this is the well right um But it's bridging. There's a bridge. Huh. So the kids are the connection to the person who's suffering, which is Brittany, and the person who's going to reveal things, which I'm seeing, you know, it's probably Kevin. Oh, I like this. You know, the nine of diamonds here, the card number eight with... This sarcophagus, a coffin. Um, this is about death. There is going... Death is really looming, and that scares me. Because um, sometimes it's not a literal death. It's like it's a, it's a new beginning. But I, yeah, this is the corruption, the tyrant, the manipulator. He, this is someone who feels like he's punishing others. So Jeannie is a punisher, you know, he, uh, he thinks she is. And, ooh, ooh. We're doing with fish, and this is the king of diamonds. This is like, you know, a ruler, you know, it's powerful, but it's also deals with money, businesses. Um... Britney might come back. I, I think Britney has got an album. And it's going to be different from her other stuff. It's going to deal with a lot of her loneliness and trauma. And it's going to be healing for her when this comes out. Um, it's like she wants... It, she, it's punishment for the one who has been abusing her. Um... Is declaring it's going to be declaring her own freedom. Um, I don't think Jamie is going to be alive much longer, and I, I, I hate trying to see, see something like this because no matter how bad a person is. He is, you know, with the drugs that I saw with the devil and the addiction and the death card. I, I think, you know, his health is not good. And I mean, three times death has shown up. That, that's, that worries me. And I don't want someone to die, but. If that is, if it's their time, it's their time and we're, you know, we kind of have to accept it. So I don't think Jamie is going to, um, want to, you know, willfully step down. If anything, he would be forced to step down because of health or he's gone. He's passed away. Uh, yuck. Um... It's interesting to see that Kevin had 
popped up in here and his sons, Brittany and his sons. I think the core family here is like, we've had enough. I, we've seen what Jamie's been doing and it's not right. It's not fair. I think the harm to his sons is what is triggering Kevin to be like, this is bullshit. And Brittany's willing to relinquish her control, her custody, full, you know, 50 50 custody down to 30 to protect her boys. I think maybe that did trigger something with Kevin going, she's willing to sacrifice for herself for the betterment of her children because she's stuck with Jamie, but she doesn't want her children to be. And this. This could be what's pushing Kevin that's going to make him be more vocal and with freeing Brittany from Jamie and protecting his own children. Wow, that was a different, it was an interesting reading. I think the cards just confirmed things that were pretty much known about Jamie and that, you know, he might have did rehab in 2004, but it hasn't stopped him. And he has a violent temper and apparently alcohol does affect it to a point where, you know, people have been afraid and puts restraining orders. It's concerning. I've been in an abusive relationship and I have a father who's also very controlling and physically abusive and I get it. <laughs> I have broken free from it and I'm so much happier. And so I want Brittany also to be free from him. So, um, please comment down below and discuss this reading, discuss the case and what you think is going to happen. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, join the true crime tarot family. <laughs> I do love you all. Please remember, as always, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I love you. Bye.